right, this is pretty easy to do. Okay, I've got all the materials ready. Uh, first thing, you have your picture and your image into your file. So I've got this uh, one Utama mall. So click escape and adjust the picture to show a little bit more towards this side. All right, let's put it to about, about 9 or 10. Okay, just for the uh, showing the effect here. So the first thing we do is to create slider, right? How do you create the slider? Go to the shape here, go to square, and once you get a square, you pull the square up all the way to the top and the bottom, okay? So now I have the square uh, thickness up to you, how much you want. Okay, I want it slightly thicker. You can have it thinner. Uh, put it to the middle. Okay, so that's easier to adjust. So now you've got a line, and now we could extend this square line up here. So this is the middle line. So we're going to have the two little points at the top there. So what we do is we're going to add another triangle. Triangle. There are three triangles here. You can use this one, you can use the rounded one or the flat one. So let's for demo i'm going to use this one so this is a little bit too big so i'm going to reduce this triangle size a bit and put him down here to the middle so uh hold onto your use your left hand hold the shift key and bring this guy down okay so to use it to judge it i use this middle part here as the base here okay so this is easier to see so your first triangle done Extend it to here. And now you need the triangle on the top as well. So what I do is duplicate it. So the top triangle on the duplicated ones, I want you to bring it up. Okay, go to properties first and we invert it. See here? We inverted it. Press escape and hold on to the shift key. Use the top arrow okay highlight this highlight follow the shift key use the top arrow and bring this triangle up okay yeah so now we have a full complete slider all right what we do is now we highlight all these three triangles and the single line and group it that's it so you can see here it's all blue we are going to turn it to white so the setting here has already reserved it all for us and make it easy to change it. Okay. Let's do it all once. Easy busy. So what we're gonna do, another step is uh, I'm gonna do to change the LUTs, right? Uh, to make this scene more wintry. So wintry scenes here is to add a rectangle so add a rectangle here enlarge this rectangle okay maximize it and change the opacity i push it all the way down to about 25. okay can you see yeah the difference here so we're going to put it about 25 to make it like looks more wintry okay and if you want, you can also come here and adjust it. Yeah? How, how much uh, blue, blueness you want to see in there. So I'll have it about here. Okay. So when you have this, rename this group earlier on to your slider. Okay. And then this is just the blue uh, filter. I'll call it, uh, yeah. Oops, sorry. Rename it to blue filter. Okay. So put your slider on top of the blue filter. Okay. And then uh, one more actually. What we need to do is to find the snow. Okay. The snow is located here in studio. Yeah. So at first there's nothing and you just type snow and you see all types of snow here so you will have some uh snow effect there are many many snowfall effect 
if you do not have this in the RSS, you can always download that in uh, from YouTube. So I have this snow number eight that I've chosen. So click it and drag it into the canvas and you have a full snow. You notice that this snow is not long enough, cannot extend. So you duplicate the snow. Okay. Put down here and see not enough. We do duplicate one more time so that you have got a continuous snowfall. Right. So let's put this together. So go ahead and group all these three snow. Right click, group it so it's easier for you to move. So I would rename this as snowing scene. Okay. Bring this up a bit and I will put the snow under the slider and the slider on top of the filter. Okay. So this will look more wintry. Okay. And then you have your original scene up here. So now what we're going to do, one more thing, the slider should be on the right hand side. So highlight the slider, hold the shift key, move the right arrow. Okay, use the right hand move the right arrow towards the end here. So when you move, it moves the uh, snow, the filter and the slider together. So go ahead and group all these three together, right click group. And now you have this slider effect. So I'm going to rename this, call this a slider effect. Okay. Now, I'm going to go back into the group. Uh, earlier on, you make the slider. If you want, you can actually keep this as a reusable one. So right click here and click save to my scenes so that you can always pull this slider up at any time for your future use. Okay, put that slider in. Let's go back to the main and let's see how this goes. Okay, we have the slider and now we could animate it and put animations to the slider. So what I'm going to do here is um, I'm going to add animation, linear, properties is the decisions. Okay, so where do I want to just stop? Okay, so this is the stop part. Click escape here and the slider finish. And where do the slider starts? Okay, here's the starting point. Click here. So this is the end part of the slider. Hold your shift key, move the arrow up. Okay. Move the right arrow, not the up arrow, right arrow. And to where the slider stops. Here. So let's view it. Yeah, let's click here. And now you have a scene changing the snow effect. All right. So you can actually do a few more things if you want the slider to return back. All you got to do is just add on a few more animations here. Okay. You can do it back and forth. You can do a slider slanting. You can do a lot of creative stuff from this slider effect. Okay.